the first of two nine ball trick shots. One ball, rebounds off the one ball, three rails to make the nine. I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna throw the one ball in here. The cue ball's gonna bounce. One, two, three, in here. Cue ball and the one ball are situated one ball width from the pocket. Cue ball is five inches from this tip right here, and then you can freeze the cue, uh, freeze the one here. So cue ball is five inches from here, and then you can freeze the one ball. One ball is aimed here. It's not aimed here, it's aimed here. And you can adjust it, so like this. So it's aimed here. Okay. Follow through and stroke are an essential part of making this a successful shot. So follow through, top, uh, top right, like 12-15. Extreme top right, 12-15. Medium stroke, and I'm going to aim at this diamond. The first diamond past that pocket to make the knife. Right, top right. Okay, the second nine ball trick shot. This is a little harder. This requires a little bit more skill and a strong stroke, follow through stroke. Nine ball in this corner, and as you see the third added element, which is the six ball, dangling in the side, kind of off to the side, and we'll get to that later. So, I'm gonna throw the one in here, and the cue ball will hit the rail of the six simultaneously and make the six. The cue ball and the one ball are in the same position. One ball, one, one ball from the rail. The cue ball, five inches from here. The one ball is aiming as before. Again, aiming and stroke are essential, part of making this a very successful shot. Aiming straight through the one. Straight through to the six. So we're aiming straight through. Make this a strong stroke. Strong stroke. And you can make both. On to our third trick, game of eight ball. I'm solids, my opponent is stripes, and it looks like I'm actually winning. The eight ball is in the corner, and all I need to do is make the two ball, but I can't, because my opponent left me in a very precarious position. The two ball is frozen up against his ball against the rail. What makes it worse is that my cue ball, or the cue ball, is actually frozen against my two ball. There doesn't look like there's any obvious place I can actually pocket this two ball and go for the win against my opponent. So I'm going to go in and go for all. I like to take risks. We're going to call the two ball right here. And that is how you can take risks. 